How's it going everybody? It's Dustin here and today we've got the steel 044 chainsaw that we got at an auction a couple months ago for 30 bucks. Uh, you all have asked me a lot of questions about where it's at, what I've done with it, and I've honestly done nothing with it. So I made the video where we got it running and that's the last time I touched it. I had ordered a bunch of parts they came in a long time ago, and we're going to get to putting them on today. So let's take a look and see what we got. So we got a steel 25-inch light bar. It's a 3 8 It's 3 8 063 real nice bar. I've been wanting to try one of these light bars for a long time and finally pulled the trigger. So everything I bought was is all genuine steel parts. So I didn't, they honestly weren't any higher than aftermarket. And I just wanted to see what the quality was compared. So I got a new set of uh, Phelan dogs inner and outer both of these these are steel I don't know if you can see the part numbers the the saw only has an inside one now and it's broke it's broken half it's never had it's got the holes for an outside dog but never had one installed so I've got the two bolts for that. Uh, we got new uh, Teflon bumpers for inside of the clutch cover. A uh, roller guide or a chain catcher, not a roller guide, a ch new chain catcher, also steel. A fuel cap and oil cap. They're both uh, leaking a little bit. Both of these are steel. Uh, NGK spark plug and a steel 38063 full skip chain. So that's what we're going to start with. We're going to get this stuff put on, put it in some wood, see how it works. So this bar, I believe is the same length. It's a 24, 25. I'm gonna put it on the 391 because I just put a new 28 inch bar on it. So we're gonna swap those bars out because I'm gonna sell that 391 and we'll put that bar on it. Anyway, um, so Something else we're gonna do, I'm gonna pull the muffler off and we're gonna take a peek inside the cylinder, make sure everything looks good in there. Um, it really needs a bath. Okay, just a pre-warner. I know nothing about two strokes, but this probably doesn't look too good. You guys that know what you're looking at here, but it looks like the cylinder's got some scoring on it. I'll try and get you all in the spot you can see. Let's try this. Oh, I need the light. Let's see if I can hold it. Okay, there we go. Let 
Now the cylinder walls in there look pretty clean. But the side of the piston looks pretty rough. But I'd be lying if I've ever told you I've looked. So those of you that know what you're looking at, is that bad? Is that normal? What is that? It ran good, but that don't mean nothing. Anything, I only used it for a couple minutes. Anything can run good for a couple minutes, so. Um, I don't know. What do you all think about that cylinder? Let me know, drop me a comment. Well, we're gonna continue on for today. And we'll figure that situation out. And you guys let me know. Like I said, I'm not. I worked on semis, heavy equipment. Not chainsaws. Not two strokes, period. So, let me know. All right, that looks all right from what I can tell. Like I said before, anything you all see that doesn't look right, let me know. I am far from any kind of expert. So let's get this dog off and uh, replace it with a new one. So this is the old chain catcher from what I gather, but it is replaced with this one here. Unless this is wrong, let me know. But that's what we're doing. Which it was broke too. that one definitely 
big upgrade from the factory one or the factory one that came with it. But I mean, that's a big difference. Okay, so now we got the other dog. Like I said, this is the factory cover from what I can tell. And it's never had an outside dog on it. So I'm assuming it was an option or something. Help if I put it on right. It was an option that you could add from factory and whoever bought this one didn't or different package or something. I don't know, but it's got everything there. I'm gonna pop these out. I got new ones. I don't know if these are worn out or not, but they were like a buck a piece or something. So I went ahead and got some new ones. And we've got the recesses for the nuts built in. Those will go like that. We got the bolts. And same thing with the bolts as all the rest of it. My local steel dealer was able to look all of it up. Get me the factory bolts. And those just drop down in the slots. And these are lock nuts. You can tell by the, they're pinch nuts actually. If you look at the end, they're not round, they're oval and it'll pinch the bolt. Some of them have plastic and those are called nylock. These are called pinch nuts. Well, I definitely spoke way too soon. This is, these are not lining up at all. The outside one sticks out a good half, three quarter of an inch past the inside one. The bottom hole doesn't even come close to lining up. So I don't know what in the world I've got going on here. There's that still number. And there's that one. Which one of these is wrong? Well, I don't know. We're gonna move on tonight. I took that one off. But I believe that chain catcher is supposed to go through this bottom hole into this one, just like that. But I don't know why, but that is not even remotely close to lining up. I don't know. It's kind of annoying, though. Well, it's a whole lot annoying, but... Anyway, well, let's continue on. Maybe you guys can help me out with that and tell me what I did wrong. Looks like it might be running a little lean. I don't know. Yeah, that's frustrating. 
I was really kind of excited about this. Let's see here. I guess we'll throw that bar and chain on. Except now I don't have any chain. Of course, that other chain catcher was broke, so I wasn't exactly doing anything. So. Yeah, 25 inch, 3 8 63, 84 drivers. my shorts on so we'll just do a little cut see how it works with the new bar and chain we didn't really do much else besides clean it up new spark plug but hey take a little bit of getting used to again well again I never did use it enough to get used to it so I like it I like it a lot but we still got big issues not big issues well we might have big issues tell me again tell me your thoughts on that piston um, is that normal wear is that excessive wear is that uh, we're on the verge of a major malfunction tell me what that is and a stupid failing dog I'll just break down and order a set of aftermarket ones I guess uh, I don't know why I got hung up on getting them from steel but anyway unless I did something wrong there once again drop me a comment and uh, I'm ready to get this thing to work We've got a lot of wood here that needs cut up. And, well, I was just about 10 miles over. Me and my brother just bailed 150 acres over there this week. And that guy's got a 10 or 11 pecan trees down that he said I could cut up and have. So I got a lot of wood to cut up here in the near future. 
Um, I'm definitely going to wait until like October to go over there and do that though. It's uh, too hot to be messing with that right now. And um, I don't know. Uh, I really, really am liking this saw. Uh, it's a powerhouse, that's for sure. Way more of a powerhouse than anything else I've ever owned. So um, excited to get it working right, running good. Um, it's cutting good. That new chain is good to go. So, And this elm has been sitting for six months. So it's not, it started to dry out some, but anyway, I'm rambling. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't hit the like and subscribe button, please do. And uh, don't forget to drop me a comment on that piston. Let me know what you think. Thank you.